Hey, what's up guys? It's Robbie Your Parts, and today we have a What's in Your Box. Today's brand is going to be APR, and today's part is going to be their carbon fiber heat shield for the 15 and up WRX. I know it does fit the 15 to 17, the 18, honestly, I'm not too sure, but uh, we're going to go ahead and test fit them on my car, see how they look, kind of go over just the differences between stock and how those ones look. So I, I don't have any of uh, any aftermarket bumper or anything like that. It's just pretty much a stock bumper with the remark muffler deletes. I've been kind of tempted to see what these look like. I have the canards here also, but I wanted to put these on first to, just to kind of see the difference. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing what these look like on the 15 up WRX, stay tuned. Bam, so here you go guys. These are the APR carbon fiber heat shields for the 15 and up WRX. Now these are pretty much just like a slip over design to the stock bumper it seems like because I was testing them before this and these mounting points don't really line up with too much any like pretty much you have to drill your own hole into the bumper and I'll show you guys some installation uh, style pictures in a minute I just kind of wanted to go over the product before we went into that but the overall the carbon fiber is what you would expect from APR uh, it, you know the weave is really nice the finish is super nice there's no uh, you know blemishes or any kind of uh, fat drippy spots from the clear coat nothing like that uh, underneath the structure is, is you know again really super nice it, there's no they deburred everything good and it's not rough or crappy you can't see through any spots uh, with the sunlight uh, you know real thin areas stuff like that um, the fitment on it when I did the mock-up was was super nice to the bumper and then they seem really flush I might just recommend some 3M tape up along these edges if you are going to install it just to make sure that it doesn't kind of flop away from the bumper and let a lot of moisture in there so some really thin 3M tape uh, might do really good on that end but overall I'm really happy with just how they look again they're super clean uh, adds that nice little detail to the bumper that you know I guess only enthusiasts would really appreciate, especially if you're adding a lot of other features such as a wing, um, you know, a gurney flap or the canards in the front and just a bunch of other little accessories. All these little things tend to add up and these are one of the things that kind of do those little finishing details to, to kind of add that little touch to it. And, you know, add your little personality to it. Well, let's get into seeing what these look like on the bumper. Bam, so here you go guys. Here they are installed on my 2017 WRX. Uh, the fitment's really nice, as you can see, they they fit the line super good and again on the 3M tape thing I like I said and they're just kind of mocked up like they're not like you need 3M tape right here to kind of go a little bit more along the edge but you see they fit you know the fitment's really tight so you know that's really good I'm kind of surprised how good they actually got it to make it fit like that so it doesn't look bad at all the only thing I don't like about it, I guess, is just you can't really see a huge difference between kind of the fake carbon that comes on the car already and this one. So I guess I just can't appreciate as much. Maybe if this had a vinyl, some type of wrap on it, and then these popped a little bit more contrast against the white, I guess I can kind of get it. On this side also, Fitment is really good. Definitely no issues on that. No complaints whatsoever on the Fitment. I guess it's just my particular style. But, and then here's the mounting location. So there's one right there. And there's actually one in the middle underneath the tips. And then you have another one right there between the spat and uh, the bumper. So there's three mounting locations for this. Now I'm kind of on the fence on keeping them on or not. I, I don't know if, I can't really make up my mind. So I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the front ones on on the next video for sure. Those are gonna go on the front. So I think once I do those, I might pop into these. I'm not too sure. But I was just kinda excited just to show what these look like outside the box to you guys. So if, again, as, as all these videos show, if, you're, if you do order them, you kinda just know what to expect when you get. That way, you know if your money's well spent and it's something that you really want to get and saved up for. That way, you know, these videos are hopefully helpful to you. Thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate all the thumbs up and comments. Keep them coming. Also, please suggest more brands or parts that you guys want to see. Don't be shy. Comment below. I definitely want to hear back from you. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a fan. It already helps. I appreciate it so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.